Okay, so as you can see, we pretty much created our base for the blood here. Let's go ahead and preview that. Now, we can see here that some of these blood strings, they don't look very natural. They seem to be going off to the side a bit. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's find which ones those are. Uh, if we got lucky, we can click on them. Is that not the one I was looking for? Uh, nope. 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 No. Yes. So this one here, as we can see, it just kind of goes off like that. It doesn't look very natural to me. So we're going to take it. Take um, unsolo that. Uh, I'm gonna hit P for position. I'm gonna set a keyframe. I'm gonna move forward a bit to about the end of there, and just move that down something like that. So you know it's really falling to the ground there, because uh, I don't think blood really falls like that. Mm, still doesn't look all that right. All right, we can do something about that. So uh, let's go here to the last keyframe, and we'll just move it. Maybe yeah, it's going too much of a slant. So let's just move it down a little. Not so slant, just something like that. That could work a little better. Yeah, it looks better. Just kind of falls like that. Looks great actually. I like it. Okay, so essentially we have just created the base for our blood, and yeah, so now we are going to take all this blood here, take all that blood, we're going to go uh, layer, pre-compose, and we're going to call this blood, Oops, blood, okay, so now we have our blood pre-comp. Okay, pretty simple. Blood pre-comp. All our blood is inside of there now. So now what we want to do is a little bit of color correction. Because that blood's really red and I don't know if that's really going to fit our scene later. So we're going to select the blood. We're going to go effect color correction curves. Okay, so Let's lower the RGB a little, make it a little darker, and um, now we're going to go to the alpha, just turn that up a little, really, you can really see that darkness. You don't want to turn it up too much, though, or else you're going to get these uh, lines right there. That actually looks pretty good. Nice, really dark blood. Okay, maybe not. That looks, actually, we can make that dark. Oh, that, looks, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Might be better than my original one. Not bad. Okay, so... Check that out. Wow. It's a lot of... A lot of blood there. Really dark already. Now, as you can see, it probably doesn't really match with our background very well. Yeah. So... What we're going to do is unlock these, take both of our backgrounds, actually let's just make an adjustment layer, so layer, new, adjustment layer, so we'll call this our tent, tent layer. So I'm going to go over here to my animation presets and I have um, Filmagic Pro from videocopilot.net. So I'm just going to use one of those for now, just um, to make this tutorial a little faster. Blue easy. Yeah, a blue crush. That's no, too blue. Alright, so let's do blue easy. I could probably go with that. I don't want it so blue exactly. Um, Let 
looks pretty good. Um, I'm also going to create um, kind of a trim around it, so I'm going to go layer new solid. I'll uh, call this trim. Okay. Um, we'll make this a bluish black kind of color. Bluish black kind of color, kind of like. That's pretty good. Alright. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go up here. Oops. Hold click, ellipse tool, double click, and then um, we're going to invert that. We're going to go F, and then we're going to go T, and just lower it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Actually, we might uh, put this under the tint. Oh yeah, look at that pretty good actually. I like it. So now that you can see our blood really fits in with our scene a little more. Actually it might be a little too dark. So not enough color in there now. So that's looking pretty good. So let's see um let's see what happens now. Okay, so that's looking pretty good actually. Actually, I'm noticing that our blood is uh, it's actually a bit slow. Forgot about that. So let's just go to blood. Oops. We'll go right click, time, time stretch, and we'll set this to 50%. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to line that back up because we uh, changed the time so it's all different now so essentially here's where we want our first frame so okay so here we go so we're going to line that back up we can just trim the first half of that because we don't need it and boom a lot faster now let's just uh, preview that that looks pretty good actually so it was, um, in the original it was obviously a lot more blood than this, so we're just going to click on it. We're going to go um, Command-D if you're in Mac or Control-D I think it is on a PC. So anyways, we're just going to duplicate that. Um, so we have another one here. Um, let's W to rotate that a bit, something like that maybe. So there you have even more blood. Pleasure. So you can duplicate that as many times as you need, but um, for now I'm just going to do it twice for this tutorial. So now we're going to go moving on to um, the blood on the um, on the background here. Okay, so let's get started on putting the, uh, the blood back there. Okay, so um, I've imported Blood Splat 5 here. So let's find... Um, I picked this place right here to be pretty reasonable to uh, introduce the blood. So we're going to zoom in on this painting here. Select the blood. Where's the blood? Oops, don't want to do that. I'm actually going to lock these layers so I can't accidentally move them. Okay. Let's, uh, get a blood splat. Five, so we're going to um, solo that and background so we can see that come on screen no, actually okay so let's take this scale that down put it on that painting just like that 